Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Haley. I don't remember my mom at all. She passed away when I was still a baby. My dad got remarried when I started primary school. My stepmother had a daughter, Emily, who was the same age as me. I remember the day I met her very clearly. I was so happy because I wasn't going to be alone at home anymore. From now on, I would have a wonderful sister I could play with. But as I got to know her, I realized that I was all wrong. Emily had a really bad personality trait. It was the first Christmas we were going to spend as a family. As soon as I woke up that morning, I ran to the Christmas tree like I always did. I was so curious to see what my dad had gotten for me. I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I came closer to the tree. There were a bunch of crayons under the Christmas tree and they were all snapped in the middle. Emily was there with me. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Emily squinted and hissed at me. They got me a board game, but you, you got the perfect set of crayons. No one's present can ever be better than mine, especially yours. That's how I found out what happened to my present. Dad got me a crayon set as a Christmas present because I love drawing. Emily had broken all the crayons because she was jealous. The worst part is Emily took this after her mother. My stepmother was turning a blind eye to what she was doing to me because she had the same personality. My dad, on the other hand, never took my side because he was scared to compromise his relationship with his wife. So years went by. Each year, my dad grew farther away from me. In time, Emily became my dad's favorite daughter. One day, I was browsing YouTube and I came across a video of hers. I didn't even know she had a channel. I laughed out loud when I pulled up her channel because she'd named it Princess Emily. The channel had four videos. I clicked on the latest uploaded video. Emily was sitting on her bed. Welcome to story time with Princess Emily, she said and began talking. Last month, my beloved cat died. Every night he used to curl up and sleep with me in my bed. I was so depressed when I lost him. My mom dragged me all the way to Cuba to distract me from my pain. But I still can't forget him. I was listening to Emily in shock because none of this was true. Yes, she had been asking for a cat for a while, but it turned out she was allergic to cat hair. I was also pretty sure that she'd never taken a vacation abroad. Apparently, Emily was making up stories to get people's attention. The funny thing was, she actually had succeeded in getting some people's attention because she had 900 subscribers on her channel with only a few videos. One evening, I saw my stepmother, my dad, and Emily leaving the house, all of them dressed to the nines. My stepmother said, you might not know this, but Emily started a YouTube channel. She's doing great. She has exactly a thousand subscribers, so we're going out to dinner to celebrate. Emily looked at me condescendingly. When she saw I wasn't saying anything, she laughed and said, Since you're not congratulating me right now, I know you're dying inside. I got a thousand subscribers with only four videos. Wait till I hit a hundred thousand followers. I know that'll kill you. That day, we will be going out to dinner again to celebrate and leaving you home alone. After that day, Emily started acting like a celebrity at home. She expected everyone to serve her. She was even ordering everyone around. When she told her mother to make pancakes for her, my stepmother said, right away, my princess, and did whatever she asked her to do. One morning, I woke up to Emily crying. I looked through her door. Her mother was hugging her. Emily said in tears, they have to give me my subscribers back. They're mine. Soon enough, I found out what was up. Emily had bought those thousand subscribers from a website for $100. They were all fake users. When YouTube realized this, they shut down Emily's channel. Emily was obsessed with becoming famous. She decided to try her luck on TikTok. How did I find out about that? Because my dad bought a bunch of video equipment and set up a small studio in the living room for his precious <laughs> little daughter. I wasn't paying attention because I didn't really care. But a friend sent me one of Emily's TikToks and said, isn't this your stepsister? Don't get me wrong, but her videos are pathetic. Emily did a video thinking that it was funny, but it came off as sad rather than entertaining. Apparently this time she hadn't bought any fake subscribers because she only had two followers. And you don't have to be a genius to guess who they were. Every weekend, my dad, my stepmother, and Emily would leave early in the morning and come home late in the evening. What are they up to? I wondered as I checked out Emily's TikTok account. After watching a few videos, I figured out what was happening. They were taking Emily to different spots in the city so she could shoot her videos. Once they went to an old prison, Emily was screaming behind bars, get me out of here. It was truly cringeworthy. That evening, my dad came to my room. Haley, why don't you follow your sister on TikTok? You should support her instead of resenting her efforts. Dad, I'm obviously not jealous of her. 
Emily doesn't have what it takes. How can you not see that? I replied. My dad got upset. You're the one who doesn't have it. Emily will be a celebrity soon. She just needs some support for now. I'm proud of her, and I'm ashamed to have a daughter like you who has no talent whatsoever, he said, banging the door behind him as he left. My dad's words really hurt me. I began crying. I knew he didn't care for me as much as Emily, but it truly hurt to see it so clearly. I called up a friend because I needed to vent and told her what happened. Girl, your own dad thinks he knows you, but he's wrong. You're the most fun person I've ever met. After I hung up the phone, I felt great. I wanted to make my dad regret saying I had no talent. I started thinking. Then I had a brilliant idea. I made myself a TikTok account. I called it 100 languages. Then I went on Google and searched for how to say, leave me alone in 100 languages. I stayed up until the morning to learn how to say the phrase, leave me alone in a hundred different languages. Then I got in front of the camera. I sang a rap that was composed of different versions of leave me alone in all those languages and uploaded the video to TikTok before I went to bed. The next morning, I woke up to find my stepmother nudging me. Emily was with her. My stepmother began speaking in her pretentious tone. Good morning, honey. Congratulations. You've managed to make it on TikTok's For You page. Did you have to pay for it? In any case, somehow you got 20,000 followers on TikTok. (gasps) You want to support your sister, right? You should do a video with Emily and promote her account. (laughs) I jumped from my bed without saying a word. I opened my TikTok. My video had 120,000 views and I had gotten 23,000 followers with that one video. I began (laughs) jumping for joy. Emily was watching me, her eyes green with envy. But this is not fair. I tried so hard. You were just lucky by making it to the For You page. I deserve to be famous too. Do a video with me. I'm the one who deserves all those followers, she said and started sobbing. In the next few days, I did new videos in the same style. My How to Say Cringe in 100 Languages song got 3 million views. When I hit a million followers, my dad (laughs) called me from school. Honey, congratulations. I can't believe it. A million followers. Wow. We need to celebrate this. Let's go out to dinner tonight, he said. (laughs) My dad had never said anything about my TikTok videos until that day. It wasn't like him to call and congratulate me. I knew exactly what he wanted, but I wanted to hear it from him. And also, I had some things to say. We went to a nice restaurant that evening. The waiter who was taking care of us recognized me immediately. He even sang a bar from my How to Say Cringe in 100 Languages song. Then customers began to line up at our table. They all wanted to get selfies with me. Emily and her mother were watching enviously. After we ordered our food, my dad cut to the chase. Honey, you're a real TikTok star now. I'm proud of you. As you know, Emily has a TikTok account too, but she hasn't had much luck until now. Your mom and Emily tell me they've asked you several times, but you didn't give them a definitive answer. I wanted to personally ask you, will you do a video with Emily and help her gain followers? My food arrived. I cut a slice of my steak and popped it into my mouth. As I was chewing my steak, my stepmother and Emily were watching me impatiently. No, I said coldly. My dad wasn't expecting this. What? What do you mean, no? He yelled. Diners occupying other tables turned to look at us. Dad, you might be just remembering that you have a daughter, but I've already forgotten that I had a dad. The reason we're here is not my success. You took me out to dinner to sweet talk me into helping Emily. You think I don't see that? I made these videos because you told me I had no talent. So you see, I do have it, I said. Suddenly there was an uproar of applause from the tables around us. I had gotten carried away and raised my voice so everyone heard me and figured out what was going on. Now they were clapping to support me. When Emily said, Yes, you do lack talent. You just got lucky. The customers booed her. People had stopped eating to watch us. I turned to my stepsister. Emily, you've been jealous of me all your life. There was no reason for you to actually be jealous of me back then. But now that you have this wonderful reason, knock yourself out. (gasps) People started clapping again. Emily didn't know what to say and started crying. My dad was red in the face. Haley, you don't deserve this family. I have only one daughter and that's Emily. I'm disowning you. He screamed in my face. Another loud boo erupted from the surrounding tables. I got up. I said to the waiter, this steak was delicious. Could you call me a cab? Since I've just been disowned, I can go live in my own house. 
I was making good money thanks to TikTok for quite some time. I bought myself a nice house in a nice neighborhood. I was looking forward to moving into my new place, and the things my dad said that night made it easier for me to leave. I began my new life in my own house. <laughs>